Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute water bottle holder. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So this water bottle holder is designed so that you can make it for different size water bottles. I have two here that I have made and I made them for different size water bottles. The first bottle is this swell bottle here which is really thinner and very tall. And then my other water bottle is this red one here which is a little bit wider, a little bit thicker all the way up and not quite as tall. And for this project we are not going to need very much. We are just going to need scissors. We are going to need a crochet hook that is a five millimeter crochet hook or a size H. We're going to need a yarn needle and some worsted weight cotton yarn. This is a size four cotton yarn. So let's go ahead and jump right into our project. We're going to make a slip knot leaving a nice long yarn end because we will be making a magic circle. Put your loop on your hook take your yarn end and wrap it around your thumb and then pull that loop off of your thumb. Now right where there are two strands of yarn we are going to half double crochet into this loop that we have made working under two strands of yarn. This is making a magic circle um, the way I've always made it which is a little bit different than others but I find it's easy and all we're going to do here is work 10 half double crochet into this magic circle. Once you've completed your 10 half double crochet, you're going to use this yarn end and pull tight to close up our magic circle. You will want to weave in this end later. Do not just clip it off or it will become undone. And then we're just going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. And that will finish round one. You might struggle with this just a little bit just because of how we did our magic circle. But once you create that slip stitch, we're ready to begin round two. For round two, we are going to chain one and then we are going to half double crochet in every stitch around our round. So starting in the same stitch that we slip stitched to, work two half double crochet into that stitch. Then we're going to work two half double crochet into the next stitch and continue repeating that all the way around. You'll have a total of 20 half double crochets when you are done. When you reach the end of the row, this very last, what looks like a stitch here is actually our slip stitch. So you're going to skip that and then we're just going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. Now we're going to begin round three. This time we're going to chain one and our stitch pattern is going to be half double crochet into one stitch. and then work two half double crochet into the next stitch. One and two. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So one half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the following stitch. and just keep repeating that. So here's the end of round three. I'm just going to slip stitch the very first sing half double crochet. And this is actually as far as we need to go for a bottle like this swell bottle, which is about three inches or so across the bottom. You'll notice that it is just slightly smaller than the swell bottle and that is what we are looking for. I'm going to go ahead and show you one more row just so that if you have a larger bottle like the red bottle here, 
I can go ahead and you will know how to do your last row in order to do a larger water bottle. So let's do that. So for your optional row four, you are going to chain one. We are going to half double crochet into the first two stitches. And then we're going to work two half double crochet into the following stitch. And that is our stitch pattern. So we are going to repeat that stitch pattern all the way around. So to go over it again, we're going to work two half double crochets and then an increase. Two half double crochets and then an increase all the way around. When you reach the end of row four, you are just going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. And now we're ready to work our side rows. And as you can see, this fits in just slightly smaller than the bottom of my water bottle. And I think that would help you fit most size water bottles. Now I am going to be making these smaller size water bottles. So I'm just going to rip this out and we will continue with the rest of our pattern. So we are back at the end of row three and we're going to start our first side row. So you're going to chain one and then work two half double crochet into the first stitch. From here we are going to skip a stitch and then work two half double crochet into the next stitch. Again, we're going to skip a stitch and work two half double crochet into the following stitch. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around your project. When you get to the end, you're going to skip the very last stitch. Remember that other part is the slip stitch. And then we are going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. And you'll see that everything's not moving up yet. It's giving us a little bit more width for our water bottle. So now moving on to the side row number two, we're going to chain one. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to work in between the previous increase. So you can see right here, this is what they call the third loop. We're going to be working underneath that third loop. So let me show you how we're going to do this. We're going to work in between this increase from the previous row. So you can see our increase here. We're going to work in between it. So yarn over, insert your hook in between the two previous stitches underneath that third loop. Yarn over and pull up. Make your half double crochet. Yarn over again. Go in between those two stitches, that in previous increase and create your half double crochet. That's going to give us our unique stitch pattern. Move to the next increase and again work in between those two stitches. Yarn over, go in between again. Move to the next set of increase. Go in between those two stitches. Underneath that third loop so you have your front loop, your back loop, and then your third loop on the back side and make our two half double crochets. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around our project. When you reach the end of row two, we see that we've worked it into our last increase and then we are going to just slip stitch the very first half double crochet. And the nice thing is that this is our repeat row. So we're just going to repeat side row two. So chain one and work two half double crochets in between the previous two half double crochets. So we're always working in between the increase. So find your next set of increases here and work two half double crochets in between. And then just repeat that all the way around your project. You can see how it creates a nice little stitch pattern as you go up. So how many times you repeat this row is going to depend on how 
tall your bottle is. For this bottle, I repeated it a total of 24 times. And for my red bottle, I repeated it 20 times, so the 20 side rows. Once your bottle holder is tall enough, you're just gonna work your last row. So we're gonna chain one, and we're just gonna half double crochet and every stitch around. And that just gives us a nice clean looking edge at the top of our bottle holder. When you reach the end of the row, once again, we're just going to slip stitch the very first half double crochet. And then you can fasten off. Leave enough of a yarn end, you might need it to sew on your handle. Just yarn over and pull through the very last loop to create a knot. And there is the body of our bottle holder. So next we're going to make a strap for our bottle holder and I did include instructions for two different types of straps. The first is a belt loop strap, which I'm going to show you here. And then the second is a longer strap, shoulder strap that you can put on your bottle holder. So for the belt loop strap, we are just going to chain 10. And if you're making a shoulder strap, you're going to need to chain 101. So I'm pretty happy with 10 chains for our belt loop strap and you can very easily adjust this. So what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook for both straps. And I am working into the back bumps even though it's a little bit harder it just leaves a nicer looking finish but you can work into the chain any way you like but I'm just going to work one half double crochet into every chain down this row. So because I'm making a belt loop strap, it's only going to be nine total stitches. But if you're working the shoulder strap, you're going to have around a hundred stitches to work. But again, feel free to adjust this and customize it to your own body height. So for row two, we're just going to chain one for both straps. And we're going to work one half double crochet in every stitch across. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat row two until the strap is as thick as you would like it to be. So for this belt loop strap, I'm going to go ahead and work three total rows. But for our shoulder strap, I decided to work a total of four rows because I wanted that to be just a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to go ahead and chain one at the end of row two and I'm going to work a third row on this belt loop strap. And I also like the belt loop strap because I put a carabiner on it and use it to attach this bottle holder to my purse as well. Once your three rows for the belt loop strap are done or your four rows for your larger shoulder strap is done, you can just cut a yarn end off, make sure it's long enough because we are going to use it to sew and just pull that last yarn end through your last loop to create a knot. It could have been smart for me to do four rows for this so that my yarn ends would be on opposite sides, but I'll just use this top yarn end to help me sew everything together. So now with the strap, I'm just going to lay it across my project and using a yarn needle, I'm just going to whip stitch both the top and the bottom in place and then I will weave in that end on the back side and then on the bottom side I'm just going to hold it and do kind of a modified whip stitch whip stitching it to the side of the project of course if you have a shoulder strap you're going to be attaching both straps ends to the top of your bottle holder but just attaching it on both sides so I really hope you enjoyed making this bottle holder. I hope you enjoyed the video and liked learning this stitch. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.